Hi, welcome back. I'm Peter Dalmaris, and in this lecture, I'll guide you through how this course is organized and offer some tips on how to make the most of your study time. As with any learning journey, having a clear roadmap will help you progress smoothly and get the most out of each topic. This course is designed to be studied in a linear fashion, much like a book. Each lesson builds on the previous one, so it's important to follow the content in order to ensure you don't miss any crucial concepts. We'll start with the basics, covering electricity, circuits, and components. As we progress, we'll move into more complex topics like circuit analysis, simulation, and, of course, hands-on experimentation. Throughout this course, you'll encounter three types of learning activities, pen and paper exercises, simulations using circuit lab or your preferred circuit simulator, and hands-on experiments using a breadboard. To get the most out of these lessons, I strongly encourage you to follow along with all three. The pen and paper exercises will help reinforce the mathematical foundations of electronics, while the simulations and experiments will allow you to see how these concepts work in practice. When we reach the simulation portions, I'll show you how to use CircuitLab to model and test circuits. Simulations are a great way to experiment without needing all the hardware up front. Once you're comfortable with the theory and simulation, we'll move on to hands-on experiments. These are critical for really understanding how circuits behave in the real world. Whether it's working with resistors, capacitors, or inductors, I'll walk you through each step so you can build measure and troubleshoot your own circuits on a breadboard. A quick note about mathematics. This course assumes that you have an adequate understanding of algebra, particularly when it comes to solving linear equations and systems. If you feel like you need a little extra support in this area, I recommend checking out my book, Basic Mathematics for Electronics. You can find it on the Tech Explorations website, and it will provide you with the mathematical tools you need to excel in this course. Don't worry if math isn't your strongest skill. The course is structured in a way that makes the math accessible, but having, of course, a good foundation in algebra will definitely make things easier as we dive into topics like Ohm's law, Kickoff's law, and circuit theorems. My biggest piece of advice is to approach this course in a step-by-step -step linear fashion. Each lesson lays the groundwork for the next. So even if a topic feels simple, it's crucial that you don't skip ahead. Every concept we cover, from the basics of electricity to the more advanced topics of signal analysis and AC circuits, builds towards your ability to design and analyze electronic systems. To make the most of your time, I also recommend practicing the calculations and experiments as you go. Don't just watch. Actively work through each example with a pen and paper. Try the simulations on your preferred circuit simulator and build the circuits on a breadboard. The more hands-on you are, the more you'll retain and understand. So to recap, follow the course in order, engage with the exercises, simulations, and experiments, and make sure your math skills are solid. By doing this, you'll not only learn the theory, but also gain the practical skills needed to design and build your own electronic circuits.